Hello, and I just heard that the boy and the hero just win an Oscar. So congrats to Hayao Miyazaki. I push your last name pretty badly. The movie is pretty good, and it totally deserves an Oscar. Is what I would say if the movie is actually good. In my opinion, it was okay. But for me to say a movie is good or not, I think it need to be interesting. And this movie, The Boy and the Heron, is not for me. I does not find any interesting. There is not really a point where I was really invested in the movie. It's not like I hate Studio Ghibli movie. I really love them. Probably because of that is the reason why I hold somewhat of a high standard. I watch and I love every well-known Studio Ghibli film. I love it. And somehow this movie is the one that win an Oscar. Like any other great film before that does not win, but somehow this one win and it was okay. Like it not made. I would give it a six out of ten, but it not as interesting as. The Spider Verse. I have to be honest. I just don't think it should have bested Spider Verse. It's just my opinion. The character from the movie. I would say you cannot really understand those the character, so you cannot really invest it in that. And the story why it is an interesting concept. I have to admit it. But if you watch all the previous Ghibli movie, the concept is already there. You basically got a copy version from those movie. Put in together into one movie. How Castle and I would say probably Castle in the Sky is the two movie element that this movie mainly copied. You can literally see a lot of the thing happen in those two movie happen in this movie as well. I don't find the movie interesting. Yeah, so sure. my opinion is to each of their own opinion. Compared to the other nominated animation, I would say like Spider Verse had. Good character, good story, overall well, meaningful, interesting plot. Robot Dream. I rewatched that movie, so I cannot really talk about that. Nimona is interesting concept, but somewhat of a bad character and bad story writing. And then you got the boy and Heron, which the character is just uninteresting. It just you don't know much to be interesting in the first place. For the story wise, okay story. Like I said, the whole idea is okay. But they make it uninteresting. It's not boring. You just don't really feel interest when watching the movie. You don't really invest in that. Like things just happen in the screen, and you just happen to see it, and it is okay. I enjoy, but to say that I would watch it again is definitely not a no. Like I said maybe the movie is actually a good one, or maybe it's not. You know, who know? But <laughs> to be honest, I saw a lot of people. Talking about the boy and the heron as if it was like a really deep movie, and you know, a fog can be really deep if you sit really close to the asshole. In the end, they you know, an interesting poem is interesting, and that is good. But an essay about how a not so interesting poem is supposed to be good is kind of bad. Is what I'm trying to say here. In the end, I'm glad that Hayao Miyazaki. Got another Oscar for his last movie. Hopefully, this is his last movie because if he make another movie like this, I would be pretty sad. Not even disappointed, just sad. Congratulations to him. Thank you for watching. See you next one. Goodbye.